Hi, welcome back to Excel Baby Steps. In this video, we are going to learn about formatting options in Microsoft Excel. So remember our last video's example where we were creating a monthly expense worksheet. What I have done is I have added few more details to worksheet. Uh, if you remember, we just had two rows. Now I added a bunch more. All this information was added. At this point, the first thing that I would like to do to this worksheet is it looks quite ugly. I mean, it, nothing wrong with the way it is structured, but then it's not really very clear to me where the expenses are and how it's not really nicely formatted. So let us do some bit of Excel formatting and then make it look good. The first thing that I would like to do is I want to make this line bold because it's header. So I select all these cells and then I click on this little B icon here. It's pretty standard if you have used any software, bold stands for this B icon. You can also press Ctrl B, which I'm doing right now. And all this text is bolded. But it doesn't look enough. I would like to probably increase the size of this a bit more. So I can just use this font size. It is 11 points now. And let us put it to 14 points. Now when I do that, the column bits are messed up. So I'm selecting all these four. And if you double click, remember what I said, if you double click between two C and D, the column C width gets adjusted. But if I select four or five columns at a time and I double click anywhere between this white line, all the column bits are getting adjusted automatically. So this is a nice little trick that you can use to quickly adjust column bits of a bunch of values. So now it looks very clear that, you know, this is where the data is. And the other thing that I want to know is I want to understand where the money is going, whether I'm spending it on weekends or weekdays. Here the date is fine, but I want to know whether it's Monday, Tuesday or Saturday. I guess you can hear the kids in the background. I really can't help it. <laughs> They're quite noisy these days. So let us use this, uh, select all these dates here and then you can use this number area here and use the drop down and select long date. So when you do that, automatically you will see the weekday. Sunday, August 01, 2010. I mean, this is fine for me, but if you want, you can knock off the year and things like that. But for the time being, it is fine. Another annoying thing that I notice now is all these values are right aligned. I would like them to be left aligned. So I select all this and then click on this little thing, align text left and everything is aligned to the left. Okay. And this, this numbers are there. Now what I want to do is I want to give a background color to this particular line here. So to do that, select this entire cell. And then you see this paint bucket icon, that's what you use for filling color. So I use the drop down here and then select some nice blue color like that. So it is very clear now. The next thing that I want to do is I want to apply a border around this, but I know it's going to be many more records than that. So what I'm doing is I select all this and then I select a few more cells by holding the shift key and then using the arrow keys to select down. So I'm pressing down arrow. I think a nice 50 rows is good enough for us. So select that and then use this box here to apply border. So I'm selecting that and then I apply outline border. So now I see an outline border around my data showing that this is where the table containing monthly expenses goes. Okay, that's pretty nice, isn't it? What we have done is you have adjusted the font size and made, made it bold. You also adjusted the date formats and then you applied an outline border around it. And then we have added a fill color. So this is very basic formatting in Excel. What we have done is we have used fonts, colors, borders, and we have also uh, understood how to align the text. A few more things that I would like to add is, for example, there was an expense where it was quite a big thing. You know, we went shopping and we bought something very big bought a big big i mean really big doll for nakshatra that's our daughter's name so we bought a very big big doll for nakshatra and then at this point what happens is the text is bouncing off to the next cell and then i said uh shopping you know, for 350 bucks now i don't really see the whole thing 
At this point, you may want to wrap the text so it looks into, it goes to two lines or three lines. So select that cell and then use this option, wrap text. When you do that, Excel automatically puts that into two, two lines so that you can see everything clearly. So that is, uh, that is another way to wrap the text so you can see things clearly. Now, so far what you have learned is how to format the information that is there in the Excel tables or Excel data. But you can also do some fun stuff. For example, let us go to the second sheet. Here, let us add a small diagram. Go to insert and then you can insert some shapes. For example, you know, you can insert a 32 pointed star like this. Or you can insert a triangle. You can insert a rounded rectangle like this. So you can do pretty much anything. Of course, there are so many more things. In Excel 2007, Microsoft has introduced something called a smart art. Using smart art, what you can do is you can insert a lot of diagrams that are used in day-to-day -day business settings. For example, if you want to show an organization chart, you can use this. Or if you want to show a, show a cycle, circular process, for example, there are five steps in a process, you can use that. Let's drag this over here and then type Induct short assignment test so this is probably a simple process that we can use for you know inducting college trainees into a company so you take them you induct you give a short assignment you test whether they are doing well or not you give them a longer assignment and then you eventually post them on site if some of them are not good enough, then you maybe want to push them back into Indect. Of course, nothing really fancy or anything, but you can create a quick diagram like this in Excel. Similarly, you can also insert uh, clip art or e images. For example, if you say clip art and search globe. Okay, some nice images of globe will come up, uh, including the ones that are available online for you. So click on anything and it gets added to your Excel worksheet automatically. Let us remove that. So this is a globe icon here, nice little icon. Similarly, you can add images. For example, if you want to add an image, let us add a small image of uh, pictures and okay, here is the first steps. You know, these are the kids so you can add a short image of them because it's quite a big image but you can resize so it looks nice and small like this so here is my son and here is my daughter and you can add such an image to excel with very ease and and you know you can do whatever you want with the image for example apply it a frame or uh, you know make it look like that or something like that so all these are possible the things that you can notice is when you select an image you see a new ribbon here called as format ribbon with all these formatting options you can adjust the brightness contrast or you can recolor the image to make it look like sepia or black and white or something like that and when you select a, sh a shape like this the process diagram that we have added you can see a two new two new tabs design and format design is used to change colors for example you can set a different color like this and format will be used to format individual options in this and set the width and height and things like that so that is what uh, excel formatting is once you are done for example if you want to clear the formatting for this one if you want to clear you can select this clear option and then say clear formats so any particular formatting done for that cell will be removed. So that is in a nutshell what Excel formatting really is. Of course, there's so much more to learn, but this is just a short introduction video for your formatting baby steps. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have a good time. Bye-bye.